Volkswagen building this year. They have the truck building. So we're going to go in and explore the history that is mini trucks, C10s. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry about that. And uh, let's get a look at the trucks here. In we go. So the first one we come up on is a nice little uh, extra cap 620. It's really crowded in here, so you got to understand. Look at this. This is all original. He's got his original bumpers, taillights, louvered roll pan, probably done by Sir Mike. Back in the day, he still has the factory uh, latches. I love those latches. But this is really close to my truck that I had when I was in high school, except mine was a standard cab. I had the boot, and I did not have the high shell. I had the cab height shell. I installed my own sunroof just like this one. I had the same sunroof. But look at this, he's got a fully molded. Yeah, it's a, oh, he's a blow through. Oh, he's a blow through. I just had a uh, boot. No, this is a complete walk through. The walkthrough was the big dog. That was the big dog. But look at all the louver work. This was probably all done by Sir Mike back in the day. Uh, this is a 1976, I believe, or 74. 77. It's a 1977 because the extra cabs didn't come out, I believe, until 76 or 77. Because my next door neighbor bought one just like my truck because his mom told him to because I knew how to work on them and she said I would work on his truck for free. And uh, he so he bought a truck just like mine. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Look at this monster here. He's got the Klaxon horn on. He's bagged. He's laid out. Full slider sunroof. Yep. V2000. And uh, he's a oh, Mighty Max. This is actually Mighty Max. Look at this beautiful flame C10 over here. Keep on walking. Nice effy to toe. Looking like a bumblebee. I'm looking for steel flame. Oh, look. Sasquatch is here. No way. I can't believe Sasquatch is here. Well, that's not Sasquatch. That's a, that's that Dodge. Sasquatch is the uh, Sasquatch is the uh, uh, the travel style pickup. This one's out of HP too. This Dodge here. This is a Slam 6.4. This belongs to Tony. He comes to Garden Grove quite a bit. This truck is sick. This has got a full blown laser cut and built frame. It's on a full custom frame. It's airlift performance on Flow Air Ride. So this is uh, Mike uh, Andrews. He's on Mike Andrews' uh, air. Mike uh, lives now in Louisiana. Look under the hood, 6.4 Hemi Magnum. It's an insane build. And I believe it's a 61, 64, 64 D100. All right, 64 D100. Bump sides galore out here. Now what I was talking about travel -offs. Now this is what I was talking about when Blown I was power wagon. Was it Hellcat motor? It's crazy. Look at Hellcat motor. Old, old school KC's in the house. I was just mentioning those the other day. Nobody runs KC anymore. Nobody runs. Run oh, dude, this guy's got daylighters on here too. This takes me right back, man. He's got daylighters on. You know, it's the 50 years of uh, trucks here. GNRS, vintage air setup. No, I like how he did that. That's really cool. Beautiful Cheyenne 10. It's in that burnt umber kind of orange that they did them in. It makes uh, Franken 10 look like the Franken 10. Great truck. K Series. And right next to it is this insane, I believe it's a 58. Redefined. Charger setup by Whipple. Flush glass by Fessler's. Only good guys. Fully shaved. Beautiful seats. Wow. This thing could work. Right corner. You beat me to it. I was just going to say this thing is gapped gorgeous. Look at this. See his lines? But he beat me to it. I don't know if this hydro dip or what material he used here. Acrylic. It's an acrylic. Wow. I wonder what process. It's pretty crazy. You guys got it. It's 
Beautiful. Bailey's hmm? Oh, Bailey? Is she over there? Oh, we gotta check out Bailey's car. Look at this thing, though, man. This is one of my favorites of the day here. I just love this, man. I think it's a 56. Is it a single headlight? Sand guy. Whatever you need. Larry's the guy you got to talk to. What's happening? Miami color. But it was like uh, they're an answer to uh, post war. Oh, so that's the stuff you wish you had bought because uh, that's just what you need now. Well, but he's far away and you can't. Where were the good deals though? <laughs> see you guys. Good to see you, Don. Take care, Ed. What's going on here? Oh, they sure are. That's cool. It's hard to see this light, but yeah. Wow. Just the light packaging alone is just beautiful. Look at the pull through of this interior. How beautiful. You even got the bumper jack and everything. I love the fact you got the bumper jack and everything. That is just amazing. What a display. And look at this. They even had safety lights back then. Of course. It's like a sport cube. It's got the same roof line as, as the 61. What year is this? Oh, it's a 60. So it's got the same roof line as the 59 and 60, but the fact that that's a lit up. Jeez, man. Yeah, it's just, yeah, those are lit. Crazy. They have an Invictus sickness, but that's okay. Because it's a good thing to have. If you're going to be out of sickness, man, this is the one to have. Beautiful car. And these guys have done beautiful work with it. Yeah, it's nothing like the one next to But this thing's amazing. Well, I shouldn't say that. This is still an amazing build. Yeah, that one's just incredible. Also a 60. I, you know, I'm not going to even throw any money on these things. But look at the front end on these. This one is just beautiful. Look at this without the chrome trim on it. I like it without the, without the chrome trim. Without the stainless stainless. I like that. He's got his OLP shirt on. Oh my lord. Another amazing building here. We're kind of rolling through this one fast. Were they all the way at the end? You know what? They were at the building at the end. Wow. Where? Oh, it's a hip molar. Beautiful car here, 37 BOQ. Looks like a hip molar to me. Yeah, this is a hip. Pretty much had one of these. It's a hip molar. Yeah, they called it a key also. No, no, no. No, honestly, bro, this is a head mower. This is a head mower. Right. And the factory got burnt, it got blown up, and that was it. They didn't make that many of them because, yeah, no, the. the No, we blew the factory up. It's all steel. Oh, good luck. Well, they got all the steel. That's what was deluxe. This is like a motor. It's on its way. These are. There's only a few hundred of these. Look at that, they're taking all the measurements. There's only eight, maybe less than a thousand of these were built for the factory. Actually. There's so few of these cars. So all the measurements, look at this, they've got all, this is what's so cool. Is they've taken all the dimensionals, put the semaphores in, they're doing all kinds of stuff here. So this looks like this is definitely a project in the works. You got the header bows. I just love this whole mock-up here that they're doing. And it's head restorations. Oh yeah, that's it. Very cool. This is a... A very expensive Volkswagen I hear. You don't even want to know what this sucker probably will run you. Huh? You don't want to know what this sucker will run you. Got the semaphores, it's got the pop-outs. See, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go with the black pop-outs like this. This is what I need. I need the black safari windows. Why that be great? Dude, I need black safari windows. Just powder coat them. But yeah, I'm gonna put I'm putting safari windows in my bug. But look at this thing, man. This is cool as it gets. Uh, crap, dude. I'm going to have to say it's like a... 52. Maybe. It looks a little earlier than that. 
Wow, crazy. You nailed it. Buick Sedan Smith. Full custom, no headlight. Interesting. I always love this. This thing always reminds me of like a like a grouper fish or one of the angler. It reminds me of an angler fish. This is insane. No headlights. Yeah, cool. Look at this giant, giant male head in here. Got the trash can. Got the trash can uh, fan cord. Here's a 57 up on a pedestal. Beautiful. The other thing about the show, you can come here at night and you can walk around the buildings at night and have fun. Yeah. This makes it cool, man. This is a great, great Bel Air right here. Gorgeous. No, no. 57's had them too. Yeah, yeah. No, it's the 55's the only one who's actually just got a fuel door. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at this core support. Holy crap. Okay, spoon right in there. Beautiful. But look at this. Dude, Twin the turbo. Big block. This thing moves like a Frickin' dual turbo. <laughs> LS. Those are the Dagmars. Dagmar. Yep, Julie Dagmar. Yep, and they put the, they made them rubber for 57 for safety. They were metal before on the 56s, but yeah, they're uh, for safety they, they on the Cadillacs. Well, they didn't have them on the 56s. They had them on the Cads. Yeah, we go ahead and walk Building Six here real quick. Got a was a Raptor or oh, this is probably the new Ford Electric, the Lightning. Yeah, so this is Lightning. Look at this. The hell, there's no Coyote in here. What did you do? Wow, that's crazy. I'm surprised to see this Ranger in here. Look at this, all metal. Is this an Abarth? Is this a Jag? Oh, Marcel's custom metal. Marcel Roadster. Very Ferrarius, very Lusso. It kind of reminds me of a Testarossa. Absolutely beautiful. I would have thought it was a Testarossa or um, uh, this is amazing. Hand built metal car. Chip boost involved. Louis Del Rey, or yeah, Del, Del Rey. Del Rey. We're on the sides here. Look at mixed paint. Wow, look at this three window. Nice three window coupe. Really, really cool. Alfa Romeo. Yeah, I'm a huge Alfa Romeo guy. I've owned like, I've owned like three of them. Wow, this three window is beautiful. Wow. Tall tire look. Let's get a look at the other side of this thing. And they've got the undercarriage mirrored over here. I love the big Halibrands. I don't know if they're Halibrands or not, but Halibrand style, they're running little kidney beans. <laughs> Look at the work under here. Crazy. Resonators. Suicide doors. Really beautiful. Big block. Talk about a rear work. This has been reworked every which way you could imagine. This doesn't even resemble a 67 in my book. 
That's your customer right there. Yeah, we did walk through this building, but we only just cut right through it. Oh, yeah, we cut through it. Yeah. Look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful. Love the displays here, the fact that they gave it the, the racetrack look. Put it on the pavement, out on the track. Really well done display. Wheels I don't care for at all. Love the hood. The motor's insane. This is a Spanish Suiza? Wow. No. It is a LaSalle, okay. I thought it was a LaSalle. I thought it was a LaSalle when I first saw it. No, this is steel. Look at the work. Okay, I thought it was a LaSalle when I saw it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. A lot of work here. Cruise over here now. Is this the Alpha? Shot with PPG. This car is about as rare as they get. Right hand drive. Look at this interior. I've owned a 62, I've owned a 65, I've owned a 77, a 76, of course all spiders except for the 65, which was a Julia Super Ti. But I would have dreamed to own one of these Alphas when I was a kid. And uh, okay, mixed paint, beautiful Alfa Romeo here. And uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. ARP got going over here. Sport Coupe, Impala. Look at the paint on this thing. Beautiful stance. So we're finished at building six. What's that? Oh, dude, look at the 409. Oh, it's beautiful, huh? It's a great motor. Is that fresh air? I guess it is. I guess that's fresh air, right? Oh, Dasani, I need you as a sponsor. Thank you. Uh, it looks like fresh air. Why is it? I guess, yeah, I oh, think it is. For inside the car. For the inside the car. But look at the, dude, look at the inner fender well work. Look how beautiful it is. And the finish on this motor is just insane. The air cleaner itself looks like, it looks like a, I hate to say it, it looks like a tuba. But a badass tuba. That's cool, man. That's super cool. Look at this interior. 61. Recovery of Interesting treatment. I'm not sure about it. Doesn't do much for me. Kind of reminds me of a lava lamp and a jawbreaker. Jaw you know it reminds me of a jawbreaker. Jaw reminds me of jawbreaker. Take a ride this? Uh, no. See Miss Turquoise. Poor painting. Filled wipers. It's got a Tremec. Except they spell Tremec one. They spell Tremec. It's called Tremex. Okay, so this is a legendary speed. Speed Demon 715. That's kind of fast. And you know what, dude? This is a fuel driven motor. This is not a jet engine. This is an LS. This is a GM? No, dude, it's an LS. This is not, dude, that's a GM motor. Holy crap. Look at the wheel set up here. This is insane. Dude, this is an NA V8 driven. How much? 300? 394. Wow, this thing was run a long time ago. Wow, this thing's got a old, man, that's an old record for this car. Yeah, it looks like an LS set up to me. LS3, dual turbos. The amount of the amount that they're pushing through this. The boost has got to be low. I mean, how much compression? Well, the compression's got to be low, but the fuel are they are they are they chilling the fuel? Are they what are they doing? I mean, I'm I've got I've got a lot of questions. I got questions, questions, questions. And there's the vertical stabilizer. Okay, this is the speed demon. They didn't bring in the bodywork with them, but they got pictures of it here. Different, different, uh, different bodies. Totally out of control. This thing was run all the way from the spin campaign since 08. We're way now into building 7E, and the first thing we run into is a Cosworth Vega. Look at that. Now, this is a, a 76 Cosworth Vega. This is the one you would cam. want. Yeah. Man, dual overhead cam. The 
fix the motor, header set up on this thing. Look at this. Were these uh, injected? I don't remember. Like the pace too. Beautiful twin cam. This is everything that Vegas should have been. You know, I love Vegas. I don't care what anybody says. They say it's the ugliest, biggest shit wagon ever built by a Chevy. And I'm sorry, I, I like it. I, I had, there was a miniature built, one built into a Mini Z28. Yeah? In Costa Mesa, ran around, had a three, uh, had a 327 in it. No way, wow. And it was a full miniature. He actually split everything, shrunk it down, and built a perfect Z28 out of it. Oh my God. It was gorgeous. Look at where his fuel filter is on this. Yes, yeah. See, that's cool. Nice little piece of history right there. Wheel around and we're starting to work our way out. We haven't even made the Slate Palace yet. Mark's collection, 70 Chevy C10. Yes. Oh, we got Indian motorcycle hauler over here. I didn't hear what you said, sorry about that. Is that a Packer? Is that, no, that's a, that's a Merc. 56 Chevy. Oh, but it's got Merc windows in it. Ah, as I say, it's got Merc, it's either got a Merc roof and windows or something. Big block, is it? Oh, yeah, this is the 427, baby. It's the first year that they went in. This was a monster in its day. Air conditioning. Dude, this guy got it all. He got the AC. Oh, he got roll down windows, though. And he got a four speed. So he did it all right. 32 Ford. Yeah, that's a great building. Ah, it changed on. It's like a nail head. So no, I love the C10 over there. Oops, I gotta kill. I gotta kill it over right here. Twenty-six Ford, salt ladder, lake car. Very cool. Cornfield Customs, baby. There you go. 55 T Bird. If you take that back to the 1926, they probably shoot you if they think you're an alien. Yeah, look at the two tone on the 55, man. Beautiful, gorgeous. Look at these gentlemen. Look at the interior of this one. Not air conditioning. He's got a sleeping on the side. Very cool. But you know what, guys? I gotta tell you, I may not be a Ford guy, but I am a sucker for a nice 40. Oh, I love this 40 right here. Now, this is one that kind of looks like the back looks a little bit like the front. But man, look at that shine. You shine, baby. Look at the quality of his builds. Oh, here's the undercarriage. It took shots. Look at that. Wow. Photo representation. Nine speed, baby. Funny though, look at the brakes. Factory brakes. They just, they're factory, just regular old brakes. Or you put that big motor in there, you put those. I don't even know why you're even, honestly, I, sorry, don't know why you're showing the brakes. It's an LS3 with 480 horsepower and you've got stock freaking brakes. Stock, bone stock. Makes no sense. I think Robert would really appreciate the fact that they did copper bumpers. Big window? Yeah, big window. Love the mirrors. Wow. Signature performance in the name of the place. Look at the work in here. And look at that. They put a, um, I believe that's a 65 dash. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's a 65 or a 64 dash. I love the copper. Absolutely. Yeah. It's called Pretty Penny is the name of the truck. It gives it a very rich, very cool look to it. Even yeah, even the strips. Tough, yeah, oh it's tough. It's tough and all the bags and everything's all underneath and along with all the tanks. I like the high deck like that. Yeah, you lose your bed, which I don't particularly care for. Yeah, you never haul anything with this. You might haul a girl or two. Yeah, or a Starbucks latte. 
All right, so let's uh, get a look over at this Copo.